All right, welcome to the SketchUp for Schools tutorial. I'm going to take you through uh, some setup options here, or some setup um, instructions. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you're in your school uh, Google account. So you see I'm in my school Google account here, and we go to the waffle. And when you scroll all the way down in this waffle, you're going to see something called SketchUp for Schools. And when you click on that, you are going to get something that looks like this. Now, I've got a whole bunch of drawings that are open here. Um, so, or I, that I've already been saved, but I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. And when I create that new one, it should open up here for me in just a second. And there it is. All right, so this is the initial interface that we have here. For SketchUp. So I'm going to go through a few things here. First of all, let's show you how to save it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click on where it says Untitled. It's going to ask me where I wanted to want to save it. So what I do is I click on My Drive. So this is now my actual Google Drive. And I've already added a folder. Once you hit here, Add Folder, I've called it SketchUp Files. All right, I'm going to click on that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it Miller underscore First Drawing. Now it may ask me to rename it, uh, or in this case overwrite it, which I'm going to do. Yes, I would like to overwrite it, and it should come up like that. All right, so this is my first drawing. So it asked me to overwrite because I've already created one. Okay, so we've got a couple of things here. First of all, um, if you are using a Chromebook, uh, Chromebook is obviously uh, available to our students now. So if you go ahead and click the uh, hamburger button over here, we call it, and you go down to app settings. You're going to see under the navigation piece. Um, I'm currently using a mouse on this computer that I'm doing this demo on. So you can change it to a trackpad if you want. And that's going to change the um, uh, different sensitivities and different things you can do. For instance, uh, shift and swipe will be pan. Control plus swipe will be zoom. These are things you're going to have to play around with, but I like to use the mouse, um, so that's my preferred method. All right, so once we've established that, uh, now we're going to go ahead and show you how to make some um, adjustments as far as drawing and things. So we've got this person that's already here. I'm just going to click on that person and click the backspace or delete button. Now that's gone, and you'll notice now this says Save button comes up here. Now, one thing about SketchUp, it doesn't automatically save immediately. It's set on like a timer. So anytime I make a change, um, a couple changes, I always hit that Save button. Um, this is just a uh, message that says, do you want to purge unused items? I say yes, go ahead and purge all, and there we go. All right, so now we're going to take a look at a couple of the items as far as um, looking at ways that we can move around this um, this drawing. So you see I've got three axes. It's three-dimensional. This is your x-axis, this red one. Your y-axis is back here for the green. And then your z-axis is the blue axis. So to zoom in and out, um, what I like to do is I like to use my mouse wheel. So I'm going to use the zoom in and out there for the mouse wheel. Um, for pan, the shortcut is to hit shift, and then I'm going to press my mouse wheel down. So I'm holding down the shift key, pressing the mouse wheel down, and then do that. All right. Now if I want to, and then the uh, orbit tool is pressing the mouse wheel and moving this mouse around while I press down the mouse wheel. So again, when I'm pressing down the mouse wheel, and you see this orbit tool shows up. All right. So those are some basics there for you. If you go into this subcategory of the sub uh, menu right here, you're going to see we've got the zoom, we've got uh, some pan tools here. There's your pan tool. So if I click on that and click my left mouse, I can now move it around. If I click on the orbit tool, uh, which is this guy right here, I can now orbit around. You can see I get a different perspective. And then, like I said, the zoom in and out with the mouse wheel I think is the quickest one, but you could use this as well right there. Okay, so if I click on this guy right up here, that's my selection tool. That brings me back to kind of the basic selection tool like that. All right, we'll talk about how that works later. Okay, so now we're going to talk about how we get into 
um, creating some shapes. So this is just kind of a get started video. To to uh, excuse me to, to create some shapes, what we're going to do is I'm going to go over here to the rectangle tool. You can see this is basically my drawing tool. That's your rectangle. We've got circles in here. We've got uh, polygons. We're going to focus right now on the rectangle. All right. So if I go like this and click once and then move my mouse over and then click again. So let me hit Control Z. Control Z is a great shortcut. If I click again, whoops, I can go from the origin too. Go to the middle like that. That's cool. Control Z. I can do it over here. Click and then click again. And when I do this, Control Z, um, I'm not holding it down. I can click and, and um, keep my mouse button, my left mouse button uh, pressed if I want and then let it go. Or I could do what I usually do is I click once, let it go, move my mouse, click again, and there it is. All right. So the next part, Control Z. I want to show you. This is on the red axis. So this, this is going to put it basically on the floor like that. Okay. Now if I move my left and right mouse, or excuse me, my left and right arrows, you can see now it says green axis. So now if I click and I move it like this, it's now against that axis. All right. If I do it again, I'm left uh, just changing my arrows here. I've got it like that. Do it like that, that. So now you can see I've got my three dimensions all in three different planes. So I did that once again by clicking my arrows, my arrow key on my keyboard, and I can change the different planes that I'm in. Okay, so if I hit the space bar, it's going to bring me back to this one. And, um, and those are the basics on how you do your three different um, planes and how you make a simple drawing. And the last thing I'm going to show you here in, um, in this video at least is as far as basics is going to be how to use the push-pull tool. So we're going to make these two-dimensional objects now into three-dimensional objects. Over here on the right, or on the left side rather, is my push-pull tool. I'm going to click on that push-pull tool. I'm going to go over here and you see when I move my mouse over it, it, you, it goes into like a, um, uh, basically a, it's got some little dots on it. I click once, move it, click again, there you go. All right, I'm going to do the same thing with this guy. And then I'm going to orbit over here. I'm going to hold down shift and move my mouse wheel over. Or press my mouse wheel as I do so. Click, and there we go right there. So now what I've done, I'm going to zoom out and orbit. I've made three boxes on three different planes, basically, uh, with my initial drawing. So there you go. I'm going to hit the Save button. So that is the basics of how you create some super simple shapes, um, just some boxes. Um, I could also do it with uh, circles as well. So I click on the rectangle and then circle. Uh, we'll do just a couple quick ones here. There's one. I'm going to change to a different axis here by clicking the arrow key. There's another one. And here's my green axis here. There we go. So you see I've got three different planes here. And I'll use that push-pull tool. So push-pull tool here. I'm going to go up with this one, back with this one, and forward with that one. So there you go. So I've made three different uh, or two different uh, geometries. I've got a box here or some boxes. I've got three cylinders on different planes. And that is the basics of how you get SketchUp started.